The North Carolina Tar Heels are making their first appearance here in Greensboro this week, taking on the number 11 seed, the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. To switch out on a stretch four to be able to guard out on the perimeter and, uh, and does a great job with help defense and covering up for uh, his teammates' defensive mistakes. So that's a big loss for North Carolina not to have Garrison Brooks in the lineup. We'll step into the starting lineup in Garrison Brooks' spot. We will obviously now probably see more of Walker Kessler over the night as Caleb Love knocks down a three. Remember when we first saw him? He was at UConn. Yep. We were in Maui and Remember Kevin Ollie saying he's going to be a pro. You got to think it's imperative that Durham stays on the floor. Yeah, that's the problem is with so many big bodies, you can just send body after body at Durham. And, you know, he could have picked up a foul there. Obviously, it wasn't a foul, but could have picked up one. And They're near or at the top. Yeah, they're offensive rebounding. They're number one in the country. Second is Houston guarding Carolina's secondary break action. Another Irish turnover. Look at Baycott. The two big guys lead in the break. Eventually, Walton misses a great look for a three. Good pass. The last few weeks, and again with Garrison of Brooks, unable to go, it seems, tonight because of the ankle injury. Kessler's minutes will increase. Oh. Seventh offensive rebound of the game already for Carolina. Beautiful. Fake oh, a shot, man. draw a couple. Two beautiful passes in a row at both ends. Notre Dame as Love gets to the bucket. Remember the ACC. R.J. Davis, another member of the freshman class, rises up for the shot. Not there. Another offensive rebound. This time it's Bacon. If you want to know statistically what the rebounding can do, Carolina's now taken 21 shots. Make it 22. Carolina's taken 22 shots. And another one. This is crazy. North Carolina's got 14 offensive rebounds. Notre Dame's got four defensive rebounds. Carolina's just bigger and good pass. And a block by Kessler and another block by Kessler. And, uh, and he definitely wants to play at a fast pace, always has. And his team's put a ton of pressure on opponents, not only with their, their primary break, but their secondary break. Love and Davis, an all-freshman backcourt. Sharp back in there, spins around Durham and lays it in. Davis for three. Ryan with a shot fake and a drive, and another rejection this time by Baycott. They had a shot to win the game. And I believe the Elite Eight. Yes. Sharp inside again. He's just too strong. A little bit strong on the three by Prentice Hub. And Sharp, the first big guy down. Love goes end to end. Timeout, Mike Bray. 1992 when Virginia had those 27 offensive rebounds. I, I thought Terry Holland might still be the coach. I've received some text messages from several former Virginia players to let me know that Jeff Jones... In a related story, nobody, <laughs> nobody's texted me because apparently I got the lacrosse hockey thing right. So. If he's with Sean McDonough, you're not going to hear him. <laughs> Another offensive rebound. And has been the story of the game. 16 offensive rebounds, 15 second chance points, and a seven-footer with a steal and going to the other end to lay it in. Looked like he got hit as well. There was no call, but... You know, North Carolina's had their way with the offensive glass, and they're having their way in transition right now. Everybody is distanced. There, there aren't nearly as many uh, people here on site as there were last year. A lot of people are broadcasting remotely. They had a COVID cancellation, so Marquette comes down to Chapel Hill and beats them. Then Carolina beats Florida State only to turn around and lose at Syracuse. That they would have a size and depth advantage even without Garrison Brooks. Really pleased with the way they've been able to take advantage of that in the first half. They have to continue to do it. Just playing so much better and has been so much more of an impact for the Heels the last few weeks. They actually haven't shot the ball all that well either, but it's not an insurmountable deficit with a ton of time left. And Kessler with another block. Just trying to get a dribble into a jump shot. That just wasn't going to happen. Jay Kessler's got four blocks already in this game. Jump hook will go. He is a joke, man. That dude is the real thing. 
Armando Bacon with eight offensive rebounds in this game right now. Nice turnaround by Sharp. That was a big play because that, that, that really allowed Carolina to move away from Notre Dame when Notre Dame had a chance to really cut into this lead. Apparently the only be began recording offensive rebounds. These kinds of records were told in 1985. Andrew Playtech getting in on the action. Sharp pass, yeah. my goodness. And Baycott just with enough strength to rip right through the foul. I wonder though, we'll keep an eye on the shoes tomorrow because you know, the general public realizes how isolated the players have been. How they're, whether it's in a dorm or a hotel, and they're often not even allowed to eat together. They have... Picking up the phone to make sure there's a dial tone. <laughs> Order final Thursday at the ACC tournament tomorrow. Walton for three. Wow. That's his first one, I think. And at the elbows and they just close the elevator as you go through elevator doors as you go through it another block for kessler that's at least five right now for walker kessler carolina's on a 24 make it a 26 to 2 run eclipsing six block shots by tim duncan and mike jeminski he has seen a lot of basketball games over the years Adds to his totals with his ninth rebound. Pre-pandemic, if he got to 100 in the Smith Center, didn't he get like a biscuit or something? <laughs> and Wirtz was a, he averaged about 12 a game or so. Shot over 40% from three. The uh, beat goes on yeah. on the steal and lay in for Davis. The beat down. But Wirtz, thought Wirtz was gonna have to sit the year out. But when the NCAA gave everybody a free year, he had the opportunity to play. Man, Kessler's having some kind of a night. Number 22, and also in is Ryan McAdoo, a redshirt junior who is the son of Bob McAdoo. Bob McAdoo, one of the great players in the history of the game. It is just astounding what has happened in the last 10 or 12 minutes. Uh, we're losing... We're losing track of the numbers here. I think it's a 42 to 4 run. And he's a he is a good player, good point guard. Wow. Sterling Manley, a redshirt junior from Pickerington, Ohio, uh, meeting Roy Williams at center court. Two guys who have a lot of respect for one another. Tough way for the Irish to end their season for Roy Williams. Onward and upward they hope. What an impressive performance by the Tar Heels tonight.